I'm Jasmine with her hip hop bringing you her weekly wrap up. Let's see what you missed for this week. In news, tragedy strikes Houston, Texas. As the beloved city is hit with massive flooding following Hurricane Harvey, large parts of the city are completely underwater, leaving thousands of people displaced from their homes, and so far, 19 people are confirmed deceased. In other news, famed pastor Joel Osteen received backlash after his megachurch Lakewood, which is located in Houston, was not immediately made available to the public following Harvey's devastation. The church said this was due to flooding, but video evidence later proved otherwise. Osteen has since been doing damage control and started taking people in as of Tuesday, August 29th. On the brighter side, actor-comedian Kevin Hart started a hurricane relief challenge, asking his celebrity friends to donate for the cause. Kevin self-donated 50K, and celebrities quickly followed suit, including Diddy, J-Lo, DJ Khaled, The Rock, The Kardashian, Chris Brown, who pledged 100K, and Sandra Bullock has officially made a $1 million donation. In music, MTV's video music awards, like many awards before, did not disappoint. Katy Perry hosted, and this ended up being a very good decision. The show beat Game of Thrones season finale in ratings, not to mention the performances from all your favorites and including Kendrick Lamar, who not only opened the show, but won Video of the Year for Humble, to Fifth Harmony, who blasted a fifth member off the stage during their performance. Taylor Swift also premiered her new video, Look What You Made Me Do, where she shows some of her most popular looks throughout her career. That's right, even the look from the MTV Awards where Kanye West crashed her acceptance speech. In movies, TV One's When Love Kills, starring Little Mama and Lance Grawls premiere, and both delivered a pretty dope performance. The story follows a young woman's rise and fall as she enters the fast life and finds herself losing it all over the very man she thought loved her the most. In TV shows, Martha and Snoop's potluck dinner party is back for a second season. In sports, over a thousand protesters assembled at the NFL headquarters in New York City to show their support for Colin Kaepernick, who has seamlessly been blackballed from the league. It is well known that his crimes have nothing to do with drugs or domestic dispute, but due to the fact that he took a knee during the national anthem, the league has remained mum to the word, but supporters of Kaepernick have vowed to protest games until Colin is signed. And in her birthdays, it's hard to believe it's been eight years since the world lost Michael Jackson, the king of pop. August 29th marked what would have been the singer's 59th birthday, and fans everywhere celebrated. Michael left behind three children and a legacy of music that is unparalleled to the rest. Rest in peace, MJ. All right, that's a wrap. Now that you're up to date, log on to HerHipHopLA.com for more.